Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another video. The Essence of Game. And yeah, before I go any further, I uh, just want to make a quick uh, housekeeping thing. Check out my new um, channel, Ron Wills About That Business. The link is in the description box. I won't be posting like every day over there or putting up a video, but yeah, I'll give you three or four a week, right? Talking about different aspects of business and uh, succeeding in business, right? Anyway, that's out the way. I want to talk about the essence of this thing of ours we call game, right? And the reason I'm even getting into this conversation is kind of um, after a few comments in my most recent, well, not most recent, but a recent video I did called, uh, you know, why would uh, younger women go for older men outside of money? And I got a couple comments where, you know, the people were sincere, but they said, well, nah, they just go for the money. And I'm just like, no, no, if you really take, first of all, one of the issues is too many men think, oh, if they just have some money, they'll get women. But if you really think about it, no. How many dudes out there making like six, even seven figures and they have trouble with women? I mean, if you look at this whole male dating advice industry, the dudes who have, they, they have to have money to pay for these coaches, pay for these seminars, boot camps, whatever you want to say. You know, to travel to different places to attend these things. They got money. So if that's all it took to get women, shoot, they, they wouldn't need to take those things. They already got it. All they had to do is say, hey, you know what, lady, I got some money. But we all know that's not the case. And then even when talking about the older man thing, you know, if you really think about it, most of them don't really have any money beyond being able to maybe keep a basic roof over their head and a car running. Some of them don't have that and still get some youngins. Shoot. I mean, I'm gonna speak for myself. I get a lot of attention from young women, but I don't have anything. They don't know I got like a YouTube channel or anything. They think I'm just some dude who walking around. And as far as they know, I just work on a regular job. If I work at all, they don't even know if I work at all. I don't walk around wearing an Armani suit. And I don't drive like some uh, late model European car. If they even see my car, they see a Chevy. So I'm just like, you know, so what is it? See, the essence of game, and this is what I learned growing up. I've always t said I've like learned a lot from women, but I ain't learned everything from women. And I'm sure this has been in other places, uh, particularly in the black community. I mean, no shade against other communities, but there was always a certain type of game that you had in the black community. Because, well, quite frankly, the average brother can't get a woman just on money. This, we just got to keep it 1,000. You know, he'd be lucky if he has a job. I mean, all you have to do is check the unemployment statistics for black men. But yet you got some men who barely got two pennies to rub together. You got like three or four, you know, three or four baby mamas. Uh, got kids all over the place. Got women all over the place. So what is it? See, the essence of the game, or one of the essences, but a major essence rather, is being able to get women without spending money. That's the game right there. That's how much game you got. If you got to spend money, basically you don't have game. Basically you're tricking. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, you, some dudes might be good with that, but if you had to spend money, you didn't have game. They, the level of your game was judged by how persuasive you could talk to that woman. You know, if you could persuade her just with your words. You know, the pimps call it a mouthpiece. Uh, growing up where I was, uh, it was called a rap. Right now, like the master teacher BGS mentioned what they used in um, LA, and I, it escapes me right now. Perhaps he can come in the comments and mention the term he used. 
But whatever the case, it was all about <laughs> it was all about talking. And what that really was was making a connection to the woman. However you did it. You know, that was the game. How much could you make a connection? Everything else was just icing or a lure. You know, because even if you had money, even if you have a visible, you know, it visibly looks like you got money. Like you driving that late model car, you got that nice suit, nice clothes. You still got to be able to talk to that woman. Even if you physically attractive. And I've said this in um, my book, Nice Guys and Players, and I've said it in other places. Many a woman, and any women, some of my uh, some of my lady fans, some of my beautiful uh, young fans, can they can come on here and they'll tell you. Often, a woman will meet a guy, and you know he got nice style. You know he might, if they even looking for money, or if they even looking for it, they see, oh, okay, he look like he might have some money. You know, dude might be tall, handsome, but if he open his mouth and some nonsense come out, what the women say. He was all right till he opened his mouth. And some women, they'll say, you know what? I just got instant dryness. The essence of the game is being able to connect with that woman. You know, having and being able to connect with that's That's the essence. When, and and uh, I talked about it in my uh, pay video, development of sexual magnetism. Because that's the second tier to making a connection. Because think about it, you go on a date with a woman, right? You know, you meet and, you know, you like what you see, she likes what she sees. You go on a date with her, what are y'all talking about? You got to take it further, no matter what you have. That's where a lot of guys fail, though. And see, a lot of guys think, well, if you just got money, she's just going to get wet. No, no, that just opens the door. You know, the game is that charisma. The game is that connection. The game is being able to spit that hot fire. The game is being able to lace her with a, a verbal aphrodisiac. You know, to talk to her in a certain tone. You know, to get her wet. Just be like, you know, being able to look in her eyes talking about, girl, you look beautiful. Mm. You know, talk some shit. I mean, as my father would say, you know, you bullshit him a little bit. Just don't lie to him. You know? Because even... um. Even you got some books on seduction. They say a woman's weakness is in those ears, what they hear. And I mean, it ain't, it ain't it's a part of the picture, it ain't the total picture, but it's a lot of truth in that. You know, if you shoot, you gotta be able to talk that talk. Even if you're a quiet person, even if you're a quiet person, you gotta be able to make that connection to the woman. Now. I was inspired to do this by the response, uh, the responses of some to that younger woman, older man thing, right? Understand some of the older man. See, the ability to talk to a woman, to make a connection, improves in a man with age. Improves with a man. Like, all the other stuff, yeah, he might make more money. And quite frankly, as he get older, his body might become more muscular and all of that. He got more style, all of that stuff. But the one thing, the one thing that's guaranteed to improve is being able to talk to a woman. See, um, you know, that, you know, as one of my mentors say, that word, Juju, that's powerful. That's powerful. And you get some guys, they sit there and they if they they if they can sit there and talk to a woman, they can get her. Like this is something I've said, and I've said this in a video somewhere. And I got videos all over the place now. I don't even have a Patreon, but look, I always say it if I can talk to a woman for a half an hour, I can get her. Cause one, if she's sitting there talking with me for a half an hour, shoot, she's interested. But just on the conversation, just on the conversation, like I've dealt with a lot of women and quite frankly, they will tell you, you know, Rome says, all right, when I saw him, you know, definitely ain't looking like he got money. He's just, all right. You know, a few might say, I don't even know. You know what? I ain't never here to find word like that. But women, they were like, probably he decent, you know, he got a nice body or something like that. But shoot, once I talked to him, boom. Because that's one thing I'm very good at. 
ironically i don't have any books on that yet i've had a couple people say it but you know something like that's hard to like just describe in a book you know i had to like get some people and take them out with me you know but that conversation piece phew, shoot and see the older get the older cats first of all a lot of the connection, a lot of that conversation and being able to talk to different women and connect to her on that level to get her wet, that comes with experience. And see, you get some older guys, they, they develop it, they learn it. And it's trial and all it is is just trial and error. That's all it is. They, they did probably didn't take any classes and they probably got shot down, but they learned. And see... Once you know how to talk, once you are comfortable connecting to a woman on that level, like just with one, you can do it all the time. Like I said in that uh, that one video I referenced, shoot, if you can if you can engage one woman, you can engage a thousand. Cause I can talk to any, I can talk to them, and plus, you know, I've said if people pay attention to what I'm saying. You know, I've worked in sales, so I gotta learn. I gotta know how to connect with different folks, and especially different women. And whenever I was selling anything, and I saw a woman coming, I was like, "Boom! I'm counting my commission." So I mean, that that's it. That's the essence of game. Just being able to talk that talk. You know, have that rap. Use that word juju. You know, being able to compliment, being able to compliment her right, being able to look. You know. And see, especially young girls, shoot. Now, see, older woman, she might be a little bit more cynical. But shoot, you talk to her long enough, boom. And that's the essence of game. That, that's the essence. That's, that's the essence. That's, that's the, you know. I mean, yeah, I talk about the body. I emphasize working out the body. Talk about getting that style. But all of that, all of that, even if you got money, even if you looks, money, status, all that stuff, you still got to make the connection. I don't care if you got, you can have all the looks. A woman ain't going to just come up and hand it to you in most cases. In most cases. I've seen it happen, but it's been rare. In most cases, for most men, let's put it like this. Let's put it another way. Most men don't have the type of look or physical, like physical looks. Which includes face, body, um, height, all of that. That's just going to draw a woman to him and he don't have to say shit. Very few men have that. Very few. And in fact, I, I would say it to the point. I've I, I really been thinking very strongly, not even including them in that usual uh, female selection criteria thing. Oh, they almost, they're almost in their own class. They're outliers. But... If you get the typical dude who might be listed as a Mr. Goodbar, he still got to be able to talk to that woman. He still got to get past her defenses. She don't automatically drop him. You know, he got to be able to spit that hot fire. You know. So that that's it. So when you get, when you see those situations, see, people need to get out of, oh, if I just had some money. No. I mean, people do. In fact, you, in fact, if you really look at many players, many true to the game players, they really just gigolos. Many. They got women buying them stuff. Why? Because they got that essence. They making that connection to the woman. They know how to give her that feel good. That drug I call pleasure. You know, they give a little, little verbal doses. So that's the essence. That's the essence. That's why, you know, when I coach dudes or I talk to them, I say, look, man, get in, get used to talking to a different woman. You don't have to approach 100 or something a day. Guess, well, you should be have other things you got to do with your life. But, you know, get used to talking to them. You know, go spit that fire. You know, that's the essence. That's the essence. And so when you see... When you see some of these dudes who don't have that quote, they don't have that money or those looks at those status or, you know, they older, shoot, might even be overweight or something or looking how, how, whatever, and they still getting that one date one way or the other, they make that connection. That's the key. That's the key. That's the key to it. 
All right. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.